voices, the voices, the voices. Listen, listen. Of the people. I'm Derek Hodge, you're watching HD Tracked Master Musician. I became a bass player by my environment. I grew up, uh, I was born in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and my mother used to sing in the church choir at the same church as Patti LaBelle and Philadelphia Beulah Baptist Church and the bass player there, Joel Ruffin, was phenomenal. And I wanted to be just like him. She was taking me to church to keep me out of trouble and it helped. It made me want to be a musician to the point that's the first thing I wanted to do in school. And I, switched, I was like, enroll me, you know? And I was so small, I was, I think, seven years old to the point I had to start on guitar first because the bass was too big for my body. And then I switched over to bass and played in the orchestra, believe it or not, all the way through school, you know, and that, that's how I got involved. Working on this first album for me was, it was a blessing and it was a coming to reality that, man, this time is not going to be like you're going to wake up any given day and it's going to be like, this is your moment. You just go ahead and try to make the moment yours, whatever day that is. And I literally woke up one day and said, you know what, let me stop putting it off. Let me pursue my project. Let me start putting some music together. You know, let me not hesitate. Let me not wait for somebody to come knock on my door and say, yeah, we want to sign you. Or we, you know, we love your stuff. No, if it's your vision, let it live and die with you. So that's what I tried to do. And literally started writing music. And Amanda and I record, booked up some studio time. That's how this whole project came, you know, about. I was in the middle of other tours at the time, but I just dedicated time to just do it. I recorded this album in New York City at Brooklyn Recording Studio um, with a good friend of mine and engineer Andy Tao. And it was really awesome the way it worked out. Like all the musicians on the record, there's some of my favorite producers and musicians, period, and artists. And they all happened to be in town at the same time. And they agreed to do it. And uh, I tried to write everything on the album that involved other instrumentalists beside myself. I tried to write specifically around their character, their spirit, the way they play, the way they inspire me when I hear them. So each one of their parts, you know, was like really written for them. You know what I mean? So I'm happy that it came out the way it did. This album was inspired by just everything that had been honest to me. I'm a product of the radio. I'm a really a radio head, you know, like, that's what my mother used to do, you know. She said, okay, you wanna learn how to play guitar? Start playing in school and I'm gonna turn the radio on every night and learn these songs just in your sleep, you know, on guitar since you can't play bass yet. But just listen, 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 you know, and through my life, that's been the constant for me, you know, just listening and I never had those pressures of ever having to sound like a specific person, you know, so later in life when I really got a little deeper and study and study other people, I was able to really check them out and not feel like I had to sound just like them, respect what they do, but not disrespect them by trying to document their sound on tape, you know? So when it came time to record this album, I said, let me just stick, try to stick with those same principles, you know, just be honest to how I feel at any given moment of time. I'm going, new ways I'm growing, new ways I'm flowing, a form unknown. If I could tell people one thing about my album, man, it would just be going with no expectations. You know, I appreciate y'all showing love and supporting me. We need y'all out here supporting artists, you know, and that are trying to give you themselves for better or for worse. And just know whatever it is that you hear, it's honest, it's from the heart, and it's really in the moment. And I cared enough for y'all to try to give you something that was very, coming from a very raw place in every piece, whether it's something that's just kind of going repetitive and going on and on and just has a hump to it or it has more of a heartfelt pulse, pulse to it. There was a lot of thought and rawness to it. So just know, better for worse, and this is honest me. Live today, live today, don't give it away. 2013, crazy, really pursuing uh, the band wholeheartedly. You know, the album comes out August 6th, which I'm really excited about, and there's a tour that's building right now. We're hitting New York, Philadelphia, D.C., Boston, L.A., uh, ooh, Seattle, Portland, Atlanta. I'm really hyped, man. We're just building, so just know, look out, go to DerekHodge.com and just keep up with everything that's going on, and 
some stuff that you'll find out on there that I'm not really sharing any place else. So just feel free to follow. A lot of stuff going on, even besides my band, you know, other ventures that I'm doing and also the experiment, the Robert Glasper experiment that I work with. You can find all kind of stuff, other writing ventures, anything I'm composing for, that's all gonna be up on there because I'm in the midst of a whole bunch right now. So I'm hyped. Hope to see y'all soon. Peace. I could be the chef in the kitchen while I'm switching up a different type of style.